Welcome back. You're watching us here on Bazaar Morning Call. Before we kickstart the trading session, let's get in all the technical ideas in place. We have with us Mitesh Takkar as well as Shrikan Chauhan of Kotak Securities joining in. Mitesh, good morning. Well, we've been in this range of 17,050 to around 17,200, right in the middle right now. What are your thoughts? Where do we go from here? Good morning, Mangalam. I think uh, just that, you know, the coordinates, I'll take it slightly differently. Uh, technically, I believe that the broader range could be about 16,800 to about 17,200, 17,181, uh, 200 levels, give and take a few points. I think this is about a 350, 400 point kind of a range. And, uh, you know, while the intraday indicators are positive, yesterday the bank nifty kind of suffered a big decline. But yet, I think, you know, there are no signs of uh, of, a, of a fresh declining move starting. So we must assume that the range will remain in force. Having said that, I think the idea should be, therefore, to try and explore long positions near the lower end of the range, which is closer to about 16, 850, 800 levels, or try to explore some shorting closer to about 17, 150. With the SGX very flat, I think the index may not offer a good trading opportunity today. But in case we head towards either of the uh, edges of the uh, uh, range, then I think, you know, we'll be uh, looking at taking an index position. Uh, Shrikant, uh, your view? Yeah. Uh, good morning, Prashant. Good morning, uh, Mangalam. I think, see, the markets are uh, definitely finding a lot of resistance at uh, each uh, resistance level. And yesterday also, after hitting the levels of 17,000 on the day of weekly expiry of options, we saw a good amount of profit taking or liquidation of long positions. And market closed at the lowest point of the day, which is certainly not positive. Uh, below the levels of 17,000, we can expect further more weakness uh, towards 16,850 or 16,800. But uh, in case if we see any rebound from 17,000, then the chances of hitting 17,150, 170 would turn high. So the strategy should be to look for creating some short positions at higher levels. The reason is because Bank Nifty uh, yesterday uh, fall dramatically from the highs. Uh, it closed below the uh, mark of 39,700, which is negative, and there also we are expecting Further more weakness up to 39,400 or maybe 39,000. Uh, what about stocks, uh, Mitesh? What, are you, uh, what would you advise? Uh, morning, Prashant. I have a mix of buys and sell calls today. Uh, on the buying side is all of in the pharma. Uh, keep a stock below 479, look for a target closer to about 500 here. And Colgate, after a big correction, seems to be giving a minor reversal. So this could see some more upside here. Uh, keep a stop below 1505, look for 1550 as the trading target. A sell on paid industries, which had a negative candlestick yesterday, intraday charts have turned negative here. So keep a stop above 37820, look for targets around 37,000. And a sell on Delta Corp with a stop at 192.5 for targets of 180. Got that, Amitesh. Thanks for the calls. Uh, Shrikant, good morning. Your stocks? Yeah, good morning, Subhi. Uh, I think, see, the bank stocks are uh, showing a lot of weakness and there we can expect further more weakness uh, or maybe further more sell-off uh, during the day. Uh, is, Indusin Bank is uh, is showing a lot of weakness and there we are expecting stock to fall to the levels of at least 960 or uh, 950. So it's a sale at current levels with a stop loss at 1045. It is around 1030, 1025. So uh, sale on Indusin Bank. And we like few FMCG companies in that... Uh, uh, Hindustan liver is showing some reversal formation. There we are bullish. We are expecting stock to move towards 2550, 2560. So Hindustan liver is a buy at current levels with a stop loss at 2450. All right. Uh, those are individual trades that our technical experts are recommending that you could take. Uh, gentlemen, thank you very much, uh, Mitesh and Shrikant. We'll come back with the more in, in uh, a bit from now. There's four minutes to go for the pre-open session. We take a break. We'll be joined by Deepak Shinoy of Capital Mind to discuss the proposed amendments in the finance bill with respect to debt mutual funds. And, of course, we'll also uh, speak with an IT analyst, Manik Taneja of Access Capital, to discuss the Accenture earnings and what are the implications for IT stocks as they open this morning. Stay tuned.